Um, we won't wait for everybody else. Uh, Crystal, go for it. Um, so I'm just wondering if I've had strategy calls with people and they're like, I'm only 75% committed to, you know, wanting change or whatever. Um, should I follow up with these people like a couple months later or what do I do with them? Cause I kind of have them on a separate list of like, yeah. People. If you go to week two, hundred K right at the end, we have the proposal system. I actually know I've moved it to week one. Go to the end of week one. I'll show you how to set up the proposal system. You have one for after the call and then 30 days later. Send that proposal, the way I'll show you how to set it up, send that to all those people and then finally get rid of them. They'll either say yay or nay. Even if you had a list of 10 and save two people, you got two sales, brilliant. Just be aware oh, right. with the proposal, the longer they've waited, they might start to become a very difficult client because there's not a lot of motivation. So just be aware of that. Okay. Because I usually send like the proposal after the call. And then like in that proposal, I put like this price expires in like whatever, 72 hours or something like that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. And then I just kind of leave them on this like nurturing list where I'll like come back to them or like engage with them again or I don't yeah. know. That, that, that helps the way that we do it. Proposal, I don't send out a lot anymore because we don't need to. Most people, we don't do strategy calls. So I don't know who's saying yes or no. But um, nurturing your client with constant content via way of like a mailing list or something does help long-term. It just gets a little bit difficult with clients because the motivation lowers a lot. That's why, was it last year? It must have been the end of last year. We had like three or 4,000 people on a mailing list, which is nothing. And everyone says, you need a mailing list. We got rid of all of those people because they've been there for years. And if they haven't committed now, what's the fucking point? Okay. We have a small one now, about a thousand, but I call a lot of those people over time because the motivation drops. Does that so, make sense? Yeah. Like, so if they haven't really taken action within the, that timeline of the price, yeah. they're probably not going to is what you're saying. Yeah. What I do with your price, you said 72 hours, make it 24 hours. That might help. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then after that, the end of each month, just do like a last ditch effort. Don't be like forceful or don't be desperate. Just send it out again. With Even if you save one out of 10, that's one new sale that you've got. Um, do it that way. That's the way we show how to set it up. And then don't after 30 days, unless you've got a good email list and you're sending content, just don't expect much from them. Okay. Do you know the amount of people last year that messaged me saying, Scott, I'm just waiting to save for the money to buy your course. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the best student you've ever had, blah, blah, blah. Still waiting. I don't hide out much hope. I'm not saying that's not the circumstance, but motivation plays a big key in taking action in life. So then what if like, well, there's one person in particular, they keep like commenting on my stuff. So they're obviously still seeing my stuff and that's we've cool. had like a strategy call or whatever, like, do I just leave them for like, hopefully they'll reach out next yeah. time they're actually ready? Okay. Yeah, let your, let your content do the heavy lifting. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's and this whole, everyone talks about the algorithm comments and stuff. I get it, but no one really knows how that fucking thing works. Even Facebook has a bit of, we don't even know how the algorithm works. It's become its own thing. I'm sure it helps. It looks good for social, social proof, but if they're not harming you or saying anything negative, just let them go. We have a lot of those people. Just let your, you got to do social media anyway. You may as well keep them on your radar. That's what I mean by like that radar outreach stuff. Just get them on your radar. I'm hoping Crystal one day they show up and say, look, I'm ready. And you say, look, can't give you the discount. It's got to be two and a half grand now. And they say, yeah, okay. You've won long term, actually. That works out better for you. Does that make sense? Cool. Um, all right. Any other questions, guys?